call it. All right, my friends, today is May the 26th. It is Sunday evening, just after the weekly open. Let's do the market outlook and plans for the week ahead. So we're gonna try to keep this one short and sweet this week. As far as the macro goes, there's really nothing major that we need to update. Just gonna go ahead and do a quick rehash of where we have left off recently. So we're continuing to be trend respecters and acknowledge the fact that we're in an uptrend. Ever since March, we've been trading sideways, compressing, building value, building up this larger range between 70 and 60K. We wanna be continuing to use these range high and range low levels as our risk on slash off barometer. As long as we continue to build value in between these two levels, we expect continued sideways chop and we don't expect to go into any larger risk on cycles as far as the majors are concerned. If Bitcoin starts to accept over 70K, that's gonna be one of the major risk on triggers. We will dive into that a little bit more uh, when we get to the medium time frame section. If you're interested in gaining access to the spaghetti template and learning how to properly utilize it, you should consider joining the Paragon group. Flip side argument goes where essentially if we lose 60K convincingly, trading below or above these levels don't really matter, right? We're looking for true acceptance. Um, acceptance below 60K is obviously a um, concerning trigger for bulls and would be a reason for everybody to be vastly risk off with these markets. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Um, the trend is up. I still have the thesis that we're gonna chop people up throughout the summertime. And then as we start to get into quarter three that we resolve upwards, I think that the change that has taken place with ETH has potentially expedited that. Um, so the likelihood of continued summer chop is less than it previously was now that the ETH ETF has been approved. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll highlight ETH in a moment when we get to that section. So TLDR across the board on Bitcoin is that the trend is up and I still have extreme confidence that the resolution will be to the upside from this range. However, I think that there's still a high likelihood of chop throughout May into June and July. And then as we progress into Q3, that's when I think that the trend will resume. So nothing's changed. Um, it's all, all more or less the same stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get into the medium time frame. Just gonna keep this short and sweet. Um, so we've been building out this range for quite a while now. Um, we fought for acceptance outside of the composite high last week. And the thesis was that, you know, if we were to lose 70K and break back down, that we would, you know, continue to lean towards risk off on Bitcoin. And, and that's obviously what we're seeing, right? So um, the way that the, the weekly is opening is it's, it's opening down from its weekend composite structuring, which is also a little bit of a worrying sign for bulls. So I think it's a little bit of a different picture with some of the key alts, but as far as I'm concerned, I think that being risk off on Bitcoin still makes sense for the time being. If bulls this week can reclaim 70K, which potentially if we see ETH strong, then that might, might give us that kind of headwind or that tailwind rather, excuse me, um, for Bitcoin to reclaim 70K. And that could be a trigger for us to trade upwards. But for the time being, it looks like it's obviously gonna be serving as resistance, so. Um, like I, like I said, right, paying close attention to the market structure because we did have this, you know, initially we had that bear structure, we got that pivot and now we have, you know, bullish structure on medium time frame. If this area fails, um, to be reclaimed and ends up getting bonked back down, that's going to immediately shift us back into bear structure and, you know, at the very least trading back towards mid range, potentially all the way to attack the lows. Um, I'll put my money on the mid range over, over the lows. I think that there's a good chance that we come back to the range, uh, the mid range and then take another stab at the range highs. So that's what I would guess. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for, for Bitcoin. I still think that Solana looks good overall out of all the large caps. Um, you know, Ethan Solana are the, are the large caps to pay attention to the most right now from an active trading standpoint. Um, uh, Pepe, obviously, I mean, this thing's an absolute monster. I obviously wish that I had swapped my positioning size between Doge and Pepe and went, went larger into Pepe instead of being larger into Doge, but it is what it is. Uh, it's still still a W either way. Incredibly happy with how this 
this Pepe trade is playing out. Shout out to Doc for calling Pepe way the hell over here before anybody was super excited about it and talking about the flipping and now everybody's talking about the flipping. It's it's just funny how that works out. So shout out to Doc for that. That's pretty much it, right? I think that continuing to focus in on the core narratives that we've been focused on. So that's going to be memes. That's going to be RWA. And to some extent ai i don't think that ai is super hot right now but it's just a matter of when do we rotate back to that again um definitely keep an eye on eth strength you really want to see eth sustain if ETH sustains then that's gonna solidify the eth narrative more and more every day that it is green if eth is going to do well then rwa is going to do well memes are going to do well um and yeah i mean that's pretty much it for alts so that's pretty much it for me this week guys um, TLDR across the board is that, you know, Bitcoin still kind of looks like it's in a risk off region. ETH clearly looks like it's starting to go into king mode like we had talked about. There's a couple of really strong altcoin narratives, but the significant majority, right, 95 plus percent of alts are just terrible right now. So if you're not playing these like key narratives that are strong right now, um, then you want to be sitting on your hands, right? So, so please do focus on the strong narratives and ignore all the trash. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys out there. Good luck this week. Cheers.